another week, boys, and another twab. This week in Destiny, we start preparing for the next battle. We have a bunch of very exciting news to share with you all regarding Destiny 2 Into the Light, the two-month content update coming to all players in April. Here's what we got for you today. Destiny 2 Into the Light begins on April the 9th, and we'll show you all about it in three live streams. What? Bungie's actually going to be live streaming this? Plans for further weapon enhancing, Guardian Games All-Stars progress, fantastic new wallpapers, Firing Finder in your phone, player support reports, and our artists and movie of the week picks. So let's get on with it. I do want to just warn everybody my voice is going out so if you hear any cracks it's just it's just that all right destiny 2 into the light starts on april the 9th today we are ready to share when our next big content update is coming destiny 2 into the light will launch on april the 9th along with update 7.3.6 which also includes further tuning to the sandbox and quality of life updates oh man all right destiny 2 in the light will deliver new game new game content available for all players throughout the months of april and may in preparation for the launch of the final shape in june and what types of content you might ask? Well, we'll share more information about that very soon. Come and watch us play. As soon as Tuesday, you can see what Desi 2 Into the Light is all about in not one, not two, but three live streams. Each will focus on different parts of the content update and be presented by our developers, who will be sharing tons of information, providing a hands-on preview. The first live stream will take place at 10 a.m. Pacific on March the 19th. The next two will air on March the 26th and April the 2nd, both starting at 10 a.m. Pacific. Go follow us on Twitch and mark the dates on your calendars so you don't miss any of the big news. Oh boy, this is a new a new thing from Bungie here, guys. Bungie, I mean, we got like a live stream for some of the, our, what, what was the live stream we had last year, guys? Joe. Joe did the live stream, the 1v1 with the Overload Champion. But Bungie is kind of steered away from the developer live streams where they show off upcoming content. And matter of fact, when it came to like trailers and other things, they've been really almost too low key about it, right? Now, notice this word right here deliver new game content. And then we got the picture right here. Are we fighting in the last city? Is this is this is this gonna be some some new activity where we're fighting in the last city? They say they're saying new. Oh boy. As as happy as I am about getting new game content, I'm also concerned because I just said the Whisper mission was coming back with craftable roles, which definitely would not fall under the same category as new. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see how that plays out. That's just some concept art. Les, you don't think there's going to be a 12-man game mode in the last city where we're fighting off hordes of enemies that's what i'm getting from this and as hold on let me take this step further as we fight these hordes off the more hordes of enemies that we beat the more the the destiny one tower continues to be built and as we get closer and closer to, to destroying those hordes of enemies then going into the final shape the d1 tower will be completely assembled Okay, yeah, I will say, don't get too carried away with this picture, guys. There's pyramid ships in the background. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we may get something like this, but uh, Lord, well, I mean, right now, the pyramid ships all went inside the Traveler. So this is probably just some concept art, as Les just said. The Destiny 1 tower is going to be in the final shape. Exactly. It is. It is, in fact. That is true. He is right about that. It is inside of the travel. All right. Now, while you watch, keep an eye on the two new Twitch drops available. If you watch for at least 30 minutes across any of the three live streams, you will earn the Those Held Dear emblem. And if you watch for at least two hours total, you will also earn an additional emblem called Echo Diamond. Here's a peek at both. Hot damn it, that's some sexy, sexy emblems. It's so red. All right, well, we're going to be watching it if you want to tune in with us while we're watching it. But this won't count toward these emblems. You need to be tuning in for their live stream. Emblems are shit rewards. Yeah, I mean, people go crazy over emblems, guys. People, people, they all, I mean, they, they go for some real money. Y'all don't like these emblems, though? Now, you may be wondering why, what, what does this represent? Well, green obviously represents strand, and you can even see it. It looks very strand-like. But let's look a little deeper at this red emblem. Here it is, guys. Front and center, staring us in the eyes. New red subclass. This is the tease. This is it right here. I don't think I need to spell it out any more than that right? Red subclass, here we come. As always, be sure to link your Twitch profile to your Bungie ID to earn these drops. Now, making enhanced traits more obtainable. Over the last year, the weapons team has been collecting a lot of feedback on weapon crafting and enhancement. We recognize players want more access to enhanced perks so they can make their favorite gear even more capable. While we aren't fully ready to talk about the entire weapon landscape of the final shape, the new and reprised weapons you collect from the Prophecy Dungeon and from Guardian Games All-Star as well as the new weapons in rot rotation for Iron Banner, Trials of Osiris, and Nifos will all retroactively be enhanceable when the final shape releases on June the 4th. Holy... Wait, so hold up now. 
So keep this in mind when you start earning the falling weapons. Okay, so they're going to give us the, less, the, the list of weapons that will have enhanceable perks. Trials of Osiris, the Prophet Scout Rifle, and the Summoner Auto Rifle. Oh my God, the Summoner with enhanced perks. Iron Banner, Tusk of the Board Grenade Launcher. That's that Strand Waveframe. Multimax CCX Submachine Gun. Nightfall, the Wild Style Grenade Launcher, the Slammer Sword. Guardian Games All-Stars, Taraxippus, the Tidal Submachine Gun, the Hula Baloo Grenade Launcher. Guys, I repeat, the Hula Baloo with enhanced perks. The Prophecy Dungeon, Prosecutor, Adjudicator, Relentless Judgment, Darkest Before, and a Sudden Death. What in the power creep right now? What in the power creep right now? All of these are going to be enhanced. Chat, somebody explain to me how they could do this. Is it getting the same process that our adept weapons and raids are getting? I'm glad I farmed Prophecy. Dude, the Prophecy weapons are already nuts. I mean, you can imagine what it's going to be like on these weapons to have enhanced enhanced traits on all of them but hold up hold up walk, walk me through the process of of enhancing the adept perks or the the, the traits on our raid weapons again it's been a, it's been a minute it costs spoils right it costs spoils to enhance those traits correct no 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 no. right here they're not going to be craftable guys retroactively be enhanceable when the final shape releases on june the 4th so i'm curious to know what that currency is going to be that so for instance if you get a prosecutor with keep away and target lock there's going to be a process in which no you can't go take target lock and swap it out for another trait like a craft or weapon but you will be able to then enhance that perk and make it enhance target lock or enhance keep away my question is since it's not tied to a raid what is that currency going to be but what this is really what this really means right here guys is all of your trials of osiris weapons your iron like it's going to be worth it's definitely going to be worth doing trials of osiris iron banner nightfalls guarding games or any other uh rotating yearly event that rolls around the prophecy dungeon i'm wondering where this is going to spread to and other aspects of the games all of these are going to be these weapons are going to be substantially better than many many of their competitors well notice they say just the prophet just the summoner so they're only choosing select weapons so if you get if you get igneous this season it's not going to apply shouldn't apply to igneous right well that's the other thing if if you run if you run trials of osiris and you get the adept summoner auto rifle yes you will be able to take that adept summoner or auto rifle and not only will it be an adept but you're going to be able to enhance the perks on it oh my god dude can you imagine okay 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 so let me circle back here hold on so right here let me read this last statement or this this second statement while we aren't fully ready to talk about the entire weapon landscape of the finest shape the new and reprised weapons you collect from the prophecy dungeon and from guardian game all-star as well as the new weapons in rotation oh no as well as the new weapons in rotation for iron men and trials with cyrus and nightfalls will all retroactively be enhanceable when the final shape releases on june the fourth so new weapons here in rotation for banner trials of Osiris, and nightfalls so something to keep in mind guys what i'm saying is i don't think that's going to include those other weapons are you sure this isn't craftable cross no in my opinion what i'm what i'm seeing from this guys retroactively be enhanceable i could be wrong but what i'm i'm thinking that this is going to be the same process that we have with our adept weapons and rates where you get an adept drop and then you spend currency to then enhance those traits on those weapons this is not craftable to me because you're still going to be grinding to get the god roll that you want you get the god roll that you want that you really really like and then you enhance that god roll so this is this is not giving us weapon crafting for these other weapons now let me ask you this guys because this could be this this could be give or take let me let me present you with this what if in the final shape bungee comes out and says we're getting rid of weapon crafting but we're allowing you to enhance all new weapons in the game god that sounds terrible that would be the biggest l since sunsetting okay bungee if you're considering doing this right now i need you to recognize the uh this is a very polarizing thing i'm just i'm just simply presenting it to you guys if they came out and said hey we're going back to our rng roots you gotta grind for the weapons you gotta you gotta hope that the RNG gods bless you. you you've gotta buy you've gotta buy crystals for this thing to drop for you okay and then when it drops for you then you can enhance those perks I think that there's a world in which all of these things can live together I like that seasonal weapons are craftable I, I love I love it actually and um you know this also helps with vault vault bloating think about how much crafting helps with vault bloating because because i especially with with a lot of the currencies being readily available i can go swap out with things so the only way you can remove weapon crafting in my eyes is, is if you gave us unlimited vault or like 
two, 3,000 vault space. And I just don't see that happening. Okay, I will say that's still something I don't know we're going to be approaching. But again, we'll we'll see what happens in these live streams. And maybe Bungie may say some stuff to us. But what we do know is here, guys, collect these weapons. All of these weapons going into the final shape, you will be able to enhance their perks. If you get the God roll now, they're just going to get God there, right? That's great stuff right there. Now, Guardian Games All-Stars enters its second week. Shout out to all the Hunters, Warlocks, and Titans for making the class proud this past week and a half. And the Guardian Games All-Stars have been entered its second week this past Tuesday. And even if Hunters have an advantage right now, there's still plenty of time for any of the classes to win. Here are the latest standing. Class, Gold, Silver, Bronze, Hunters, 7, Silver, 1, Warlocks, sil Silver is 7, Titans, Gold, 1, 7, Bronze. Now, I do want to mention the other day we brokered a deal with our fellow Warlocks. See, at the end of the day, I may not like Warlocks. And, and Warlocks, they may not like Titans, but we equally hate Hunters. I would rather Warlocks win than, than Hunters. So we flipped a coin on it. And in the the coin flip, and Les was representing Warlocks, I was representing Titans. The coin flip, he picked heads, and had it rolled heads, I would be wearing a dress for this entire event. It was Tails. Les is converted to a Titan, and I and I thank every Warlock for converting to Titan. And that's actually how Titans are winning right now. And we're going to continue pushing forward, but we greatly appreciate our Warlocks for joining Titans on this, because the ultimate evil here is Hunters. We can't let them win, guys. It's just, I can't live with a year of them, of them walking around with their pompous gold old cloak or whatever the hell they may have after they win first so so again thank you to my fellow warlocks out there now remember those focus activities happening during the day have a huge impact on the daily winner the same goes for diamond medallions which not only gets your class closer to winning but also gets you a guaranteed guardian game momentum i will say for titans and for warlocks that are playing as signs you gotta win the focus activity that's really the deciding factor on, on who wins the day now everyone oh Everyone wins in Guardian Games Cup. We couldn't be prouder of our community for going all in for our third Guardian Games Cup. While we all know every team is giving their all, only an elite few will manage to climb to the mountaintop and make it to our weekly list. Is this a Q? Mountaintop confirmed. It's coming back, guys. It can't, it couldn't be more clear. They literally, they, they said it. They literally said it right there. We're getting Recluse, Hammerhead, and now we're getting Mountaintop. Now, here are the teams winning in each category according to the data we collected this very morning. Oh, Look at that, man. I'm not even sure which team is ours. I know I'm on a, I'm on a team. I'm on a team. We need to get that link there and uh, and post it up here. But but GDC, everybody. By the way, we have wallpapers. If you want if you want these as wallpapers, that's really nice. Okay. Oh, for your phone. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna get that on my phone right now. Oh, now for our desktop. Okay. Looks good. Now find your fire team in more places. In case you haven't noticed yet, this week we update our destitute companion app to support the current fire team finder system. It's launching in beta, so please bear with us if you see anything not working perfectly at first. The legacy fire team finder will still work during this time, but our intention is to phase it out. Starting March the 19th, the web version of fire team finder will also be available for all players, also as a beta. Fire team finder on the web and mobile apps brings additional features outside the game to help you plan for the upcoming events. When creating new listings, you have the option to create Play, a playing now or schedule listing. Wow, you can literally schedule it. Schedule listings will not appear in game until you activate them to become a playing now listing. You're only allowed to have one playing now listing and must be logged into the game to activate. In the future, we plan to include notification support for Fire Team Finder in both the app and the web versions, along with other improvements as we work to remove the beta tag. Stay tuned for more details in the future. Dude, it's like arranging a DoorDash meal, right? You could set up your, your, your Fire Team Finder listing for 7 p.m. You roll in the house, you hit the you, you hit the Starforge PC, you crank Destiny up, and boom, that, that fire team listing goes live, and you got a squad assembled. That's really nice. Uh, I'm not gonna go through each one of these. Yeah, respect, respect thy community. That's 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 good. Yeah. All right, known issues. PlayStation players are unable to use text or voice chat. Skimmers grinding only works with the crouch toggle setting, but it doesn't respond to the hold crouch setting. We're also investigating an issue where the detail screen under Eva's Guardian Games event information redirects players to purchase the Destiny to the Witch Queen. That's convenient. The Witch Queen is not required to participate in Guardian Games All Stars. That's real convenient. The last right scout rifle uses the same visual appearance as the Prophet scout rifle. I just we just thought that was the way it was supposed to be okay the drop in and top of the top of class guardian games all-star quests remain available on eva even after the players already claim them the final strength quest is not progressing when the cabal missive is acquired and the trials passage and persistence will flaw if the first match on a card is a loss also if you get error coded i'm just my experience it will also flaw your card 
As that final note here for Budgie, and we're done for today. How are those prophecy runs going? We've been having a blast and even got some very fancy new rolls. Defeating Frenzy Onslaught, some machine gun still loses us though, but we'll keep trying while we wait for Destiny 2 into the light to arrive. Until then, Titans and Warlocks, if you have a Coupe de Force ready to beat the Hunters, you better get that started. Make us proud, Guardians, the Destiny 2 community team. All right, guys, next Tuesday, the big thing, the big ticket item today, we are getting a preview of Into the Lights, a look, and you'll get some emblems from it. Slide that like button like your mama told you right.